Uh, hello everybody. Uh, Time and Solution Digest 22, uh, 22 uh, Crude Oil uh, Forecast. You see, last week uh, some user asked me how to make forecast for crude oil. And you see, my friends, actually this is uh, nothing special there. We need just follow the standard procedure, Time and Solution Forecast Protocol. Uh, there is special class, I have to do that. And uh, that's it. Uh, let's do that to uh, this work together. Uh, so this is crude oil and uh, as always first step we need to check annual cycle. How annual cycle uh, works for crude oil. I run astronomy no module and uh, will conduct work for analysis for annual cycle. And wait a bit, actually I know that uh, annual cycle works for uh, crude oil. Wait a bit. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you see, most bars are red here. It means that correlation between crude oil uh, and um, price for crude oil and projection line based on an on annual cycle is positive. It, last year it was 41%, uh, before it was 38, 24, and so on. So generally, um, annual cycle works for, 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 for crude oil, so we can use this projection line. And look at this, how this projection line looks. It looks this way. And this is forecast for crude oil based on annual cycle. It shows up and actually till uh, it will be correction uh, mid of uh, April. No, actually up till, uh, till uh, mid of May. Okay, uh, let's uh, conduct one more analysis. We will find predictable zones based on annual cycle. We just follow standard procedure. Here it is, uh, click calculate, and in a few seconds we will get uh, this, all these zones. And you see, in just a second, I display this predictable zone. Uh, you see this uh, big bold line, green line, it indicates that uh, price goes up for crude oil since uh, mid of uh, March till, till end of May, until the end of May, uh, May and we can, see, uh, we can uh, check the statistic, this is, uh, oh sorry, March 15, uh, May 24, uh, price uh, uh, went up uh, uh, 11 times and only one time uh, price went down. So this is pretty annual predictable zone for um, crude oil. Uh, so far it shows, uh, shows up. Uh, also, maybe it makes sense uh, to find the most similar year in the past. Uh, this is another model. This is intermarket model. I will make this, uh, this uh, techniques invisible and run intermarket. I will download, uh, analyze crude oil against crude oil and will find the most similar year. The most similar year, this, this one, 1991, I will display scale. You see, uh, this is red. This is uh, price 1991, 1998, here it is red. And this is uh, black, this is our current price. So they ch this uh, chart uh, look very, diff uh, very similar. And this is what this model forecasts. Uh, so, uh, also maybe it makes sense to check the major economical cycle, like uh, kitchen, 40 months, 40 months kitchen inventory cycle. Let's check it out. I run a spectrum model. I will switch to economical cycle. Economical. I will run a, a, a template to to reveal economical cycles and let's wait a bit it's calculating almost done okay this is periodogram uh, 40 month cycle is here oh interesting okay you see it's interesting you see a uh, 5.5 year cycle works i know this cycle uh, so for crude oil actually it looks like um, uh, a kitchen in the recycle is not working 40 month cycle work, uh, so 40, 40 month cycle it seems to me 5.5 cycle works and you see i know the cycle very well i did some research about this cycle some time ago there is special class about that and you see it was found that uh, this uh, cycle 45 5.5 year cycle works for GDP, for consumer price index, uh, unemployment rate, uh, M2, in, M2 uh, aggregate uh, money supply, 
Fed rates, uh, Schiller US Home Index. So 5.5 cycle works very often. It, uh, you see, it looks like the cycle works for crude oil. Okay, let's check uh, what it shows. Uh, what it forecasts. It forecasts actually mostly down. Mostly down. No, it's uh, at least uh, uh, down uh, since uh, end of uh, 2024. End of 2024, 2025. Uh, so, so far it's uh, so so. Okay. And the last thing I would like to show you uh, this is, you see, I did forecast for Dow Jones. Uh, so, I will show you this forecast in just a second. I will download it. I made this uh, forecast uh, one year ago, even more, in, in March 2023. And uh, this uh, forecast still valid. And uh, you see this, uh, the major player here, here it is, uh, this is uh, 40 months, uh, 42 it seems to me months, uh, kitchen inventory cycle. You see this is a uh, uh, red line, this is a uh, kitchen inventory cycle. And you see this forecast still shows uh, price, uh, suggests that price, uh, that Dow Jones still will go up till end of uh, this year, till to end of 2024. Uh, but uh, look at this another chart, uh, another projection line, this is black one. And this is a metonic cycle. Uh, uh, this is, yeah, metonic cycle. And you see this is actually dangerous period. It's, uh, this cycle shows uh, down. Uh, so, uh, so I keep in mind that uh, we approaching to dangerous period. It seems to me soon uh, um, uh, kitchen uh, 40 month cycle uh, stop working and we expecting some correction and something like that. I will check this cycle, metoni uh, this uh, kitchen cycle, the period of this cycle to be precisely uh, 42 month cycle. So now 40 months, uh, 42 month cycle works the best way. Uh, so uh, keep in mind this uh, fact as well. So uh, it seems to me still, uh, I, I believe uh, several months till, uh, till, till fall, till September, October, I believe uh, price will go up. But uh, everything is possible because uh, there is um, a dangerous player here, metonic cycle. Uh, so this is what I have regarding crude oil. Thank you.